Hello everybody, welcome back to Couples Game. Today we're playing the Universe Sim. Well, it's a lot of things, so yeah. Let's go with a default. That's the only thing we can go with. Your system only has 8 gigabytes of RAM. We recommend at least 12 to play on this planet size. Although you can still play on this planet size, you have a better experience. Go fuck yourself and don't tell me what I need to do. And we got our first nugget traits. As you can see right here, neutral. Nothing's remarkable on this dude, right? But then we have true believer. This nugget will, will be born a believer. They will be forever faithful and give you an extra boost to the creator points of origin. I know for sure, look at this. So we have natural disasters, which is occasional blah blah wild animals attack, exile aggression, exile nuggets can either be a great ally or one of the more dangerous forces you'll face. These settings influence their starting opinions of you as well as their likelihood of choosing a path of hostility. Should we play the tutorials? <gasps> oh, I can... Yeah, let's play the tutorials as well. I, I have no idea how to play this. It's supposed to be like gods or things like that. So let's see. <clears throat> if you accidentally overload your water supply, try turning off a few less essential buildings until you have more water pumps. Yeah, so I don't know what was the name of that game, Gadus or something like that. That was on the phone that you could literally make planets and things like that. This by the looks of the... What do you call it, Jesus Christ? By the looks of the trailers and things like that are literally... It's goddess combined with a little bit of black and white. And... I think something else, like, did you see those type of points? I think is like, um... I might be too old for this, but Spore. You know, with the... Not, not Spore, the traits. What, 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 what was that game, the popular one? You had those type of traits that you can choose into your uh, characters. Have you ever tried lizard candy? Don't judge. Okay, so we are annihilating the old universe and we have annihilated the shit out of them. Wait up, creator. This is the beginning of your story. It starts with nothing. Nothing but an infinite void. However, you, with a single touch, can awaken the light. Let's touch. And so the universe sprang into being. Worlds filled with endless potential were scattered into the beyond. They formed into many different shapes and sizes. And while most were doomed to drift among the cosmos barren and alone, others flourished. These few planets soon became home to the greatest phenomenon of all. However, life is a peculiar thing. It comes and goes as swiftly as a bit of space debris burning up in an atmosphere. A creator's purpose was always that of an observer, to simply admire the fleeting beauty of life's beginnings and ends. Yet, this balance could never last. The issue with allowing a species to evolve independently is that they always fail to do so. For life to have a better chance of succeeding, it needs a helping hand. Ah, Welcome to Mother Planet. This is a fair sight. For it came to be that there was a day and night. Warmth and cold. And water to flow through the planet's veins. The soil was rich with minerals, which gave rise to a thick blanket of green. 
the perfect ecosystem was formed. It is no wonder then why life has chosen to inhabit it. A new species has been born and they need guidance. This is your purpose now. Their very existence rests in your hands. Yeah, they're done. Okay, so uh, click around, hold, drag, WSD, buttons, pan the camera, move the mouse. I want it. Okay, let me just quickly settings this. Uh, I forgot to. Let's see if they actually have a a video. Uh, what's the name of that shit? Subtitles. There you go. In case that fucker uh, talks again, I don't know if you guys heard that. It's pretty much the story. You're the god. Ooh, ooh. Jesus! Oi, oi, okay, that's... Ha! Oh, shit! Oh, warm and cold, look at this! <gasps> oh, so this side is night. Okay, let's see WSD was the difference. Move around while holding L shift. Okay. Find a suitable location to place your epic center. Your civilization will begin to grow around this point for a better chance of survival. Look for somewhere close to a major resource like water, wood, stone and food. To place the epicenter at your desired location, press click on click and click again. Okay. Let's see how much zoom can we actually get on this bad boy. Holy zoom in Christ! Yo! I'm still trying my best. I guess, probably, yeah, let's see. Yeah, same idea, but I'm trying to do it with the mouse. Yeah, it's better with WSD. It's a bear. I don't think I should place my civilization next to the bear. And then we have... Then we have a small mammoth, right here. Okay, and then we have a smaller mammoth right here. Wait a second. Yeah, right there. Okay, let's see where the fuck to place our first civilization. I need to stop doing that. Okay. So we're gonna try to... Let's see the... What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Definitely something there. Okay, that's... Here-ish. I guess it's wood. Water, right? Hey, fuck it, we're gonna place it right here next to this beautiful. You mean lower? Yeah? Yeah? Are you sure you want to place your revolution? Yes. No. Yeah. Click on research window located at the bottom left corner to holy shit in Christ in my Jesus fucking Christ. This is where you will drive your civilization advancement through the ages. You can queue up to five research. Okay. So add primitive tools, perk, add water wheel, add water flow study. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Press F to fly event. Hello. They're naked. Yeah, they're completely naked. They're completely naked. Look, look. This is quite a beautiful 
Holy take me God right here. I'm just gonna... We are literally all the way to space age around here. And then we have modern age, medieval age, stone age and evolution stages. Look at this. So they said primitive tools. Primitive tools mark the very steps into becoming a technological savvy civilization. And well, if knowing how to bash a rock with another slightly modified rock is considered technology savvy, that's it. Okay. So this will unlock the axe and hammer. And then... Water flow, water wheel, fire, primitive cooking, and that's it. Okay, to increase the game speed, you can click on the button. Yeah, I'm not a moron. You're able to pause and unpause at any time with PP. Okay. So here. And then you want me to press it again. Ah, look at this, primitive tools, oh my god. Hey, hey, where the fuck are you going? What the fuck is this? What the fuck are you building? Oh my god, they're fucking building a residential shit on their own. So, oh, look at this, they're actually chopping, look, this one is chopping wood. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Wait a second, is this one of those games where I'm like a god, but I don't actually interact with them too much? Just more like, um, what the fuck do you call it, man? Oh, look, they actually have baskets on their back to bring the thing. Look, 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 look. You see them? Look. It's like a little costume, huh? Oh, they actually have a scarf and it's just full, filled with rocks and wood. Oh, you're fucking with me. Key buildings will need to be constructed by nuggets. To begin the process, open the construction menu. There you go. Select a building and place it on a desired location. You can retort the building. Blah, 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 blah. So just buildings. A reservoir is very useful to provide nuggets with easy accessible drinking water and a water pump to provide the constantly flow of water. Okay. Select building with this one, right? Jesus Christ. And then the construction. Jesus Christ. Wait a second. So you have the epicenter, utilities, resource management, manufacturing, defense, recreation, legendary buildings, and space. So I'm guessing it's utilities. Oh my god, look at them. They're actually fucking medieval design. Look at this. Look, look. So at the moment, look at the Stone Age. Stone Age, Lumber Camp, and then Medieval Ages. Look at the Medieval Ages one. Oh! I just read that latest message. It's a real hoot. Oh, wait. Maybe they could actually use some help. I didn't need, though. <gasps> Dear Creator, we do not mean to sound like we're complaining, but we're having a time, tough time doing all of the work with just the two of us. Is there any way we can expand our civilization, maybe bring in a few extra helping hands? I sincerely hope there is an easy way of going about this. One does not involve months of discomfort and weird craving followed by hours of excruciating pains. Oh my god. Use Le Cupid to create power to increase the population in your civilization. Receive two believers, 20 discovery points. I'm on it, bro. Oh, look at this. Our socio, hello. I have no idea. Oh, I touched them, never mind. Uh, I don't know how to do that. But let me just quickly place the water pump. So where should I place the water pump? What's happening here? Help. Oh, never mind, here. So, interior mm -hmm. around here. The summer sun is excellent for slow motion. Nice yeah, look. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they started walking all around here. And it's literally, they're starting creating rocks. Rose. Whatever. 
Oh, come on! Cancel it. Yeah, I would like to abort this construction. The fucking tutorial really wants me to Q&A it. Even though they, it didn't need it, right? Okay, you can make two nuggets fall in love by connecting them with your Le Cupid power, which is excellent for increasing the population. You can do so by selecting the power via the quick access, which can be called by middle mouse button. Oh my fucking god, there is. Uh, hold down the cast key, left control, and then click on two nuggets with the cast key held down. So they have holy grounds, telekinesis, yeah, they have a lot of them. So Le Cupid, right? And then holding control. Okay. Oh my god. Did you see that? Oh my god, look at this. They started gathering shit in the little hut. Oh yeah. No, this is the evolution stone, darling. This is their hut. Which has do not disturb on it because they both end. Oh my god, they're banging. I suppose they have to entertain themselves. Um. Um. Look! Too small babies. They are. Yo. Have an opinion and make questionable life decisions. Let's see how much you like them then. This dude is just ruthless. What do you need, girl? What what does you need for me me? Yeah, I think it was for a mistake. No, that's the health. What? Telekinesis. Fly to let's see. No, it should be telekinesis. Oh my god, look. Oh! Sit your ass down, bitch. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for that. Well, at least she stopped crying. What the fuck is that? Is the world ending? Oh my god, I entered the cloud. <gasps> look at the goddamn... Oh, look, it's dripping down my face. I don't. But at least it's just when I'm actually going into the cloud, you know? So what's the next tutorial? No more tutorials? I'm free to do whatever the fuck I want? Okay, primitive cooking. Odd man toolkit. You can do a lot with a stone axe. Yes. Water flow study. Leather buckets. Water browsing. It turns out the well placement plays a pretty important role and the amount of water is readily available. Have you ever placed a well in the desert? If so, you're probably well aware of this. Okay, let's go with primitive cooking, right? Toolkits, no wait, toolkits, fishing, primitive... I require fire. Okay, so we're going with this type of uh, thing, right? You don't have time for that. Fortunately, you have the ability to influence your civilization's evolution and improve its chances of survival. You can prioritize whatever your heart desires, but remember that the heart is over over on the question man and future. So use your head instead. That's a pretty good motto to live by. Stone, of course. I see the beginnings of something great. And now, this one actually has the water quality of 1937. So one pump is consuming zero water per second at the moment. And also the fish spawning rate is zero and lake is zero percent polluted. And what the fuck is that building right there? Oh my god, build themselves, that's awesome. So... It's 99% 9, so it's gonna dry the fuck out. No wasting time. I like your style. I'm doing what? I'm doing it. 
No, fuck you, I was trying to read that piece of shit. Sound the alarm. This will cause all nuggets to drop what they're doing and take shelter in homes and bunkers. Alarm can be activated where forecast tower is built. Holy shit, really? Okay, so did we manage to... Let's see. Oh, that's awesome. So we can now build an eatery. Eateries are somewhat like watering holes of the Stone Age. This is where nuggets go eat, drink and make merry. All nuggets who consume their meal here receive a happiness boot and stay fuller for longer. Additional, the tasty beverages serves here quench and not thirst for a long period of time. Look at that shit. Look at the cloud. Okay, let's do it like this, I guess. Damn, look at that rain there, bro. Can I... Okay, wait a second. Can I quickly go in that cloud? Oh, I can shift it. I don't know, bro. Let me... I, I forgot where my base is. My base is here, bro. Oh, look. So you have a wonder too far from hostilization and feel that mess things up while you're gone. You can return home by instantly play, pressing H. Okay, thank you very much. You can fuck off. So they're building themselves, it seems, the fire pit, right? Or they did not. Oh yeah, look, they're building themselves. I unlocked it, but they did it. Look, it's right there. In the bushes, I meant. Okay. Oh, did you see that tree? Just popped out of a blah, blah, blah. Let's see, Epic Center. And now we can build engineers. <coughs> the engineer hut is home for all engineers' nuggets. It holds the tools and knowledge necessary to build and repair structures. Engineer nuggets assigned to this building will automatically begin construction of structures you placed and repair damaged building in their spare time. Hmm. Okay, so what can I... Certain buildings affect other buildings with an area of effect around the building. For example, engineers will repel building within the area of the affected engineer hut. The and defense tower will defend the area within the area of effect. Brah. 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 Brah, do you see the area of effect? The building above building will indicate the building is required. Okay, let let me alone a little. Bit. How do you assign nuggets? Name, stick, stone. That's how they fucking decide to name their children: stick and stone. Stick and fucking stone, bro. Stone. Thank you. Keep an eye out for icons above. The Dear creator, I heard that you have the power to create miracles. I've been trying to build a hut for, st uh, for stone and myself to live in. But I fear that I have thrown my back out while all the heavy lifting. I can ha hardly lift my hammer now. Let alone collect all the resources I still need. If I could just get a few more materials, we can finally finish our dream home. I think Stone might leave me if I don't get this finished soon. I'm sure someone with a far larger set of muscles and a luxury hut will spare them away. Will sweep them away. I bet they'll have a splash pool too. I can let that help happen. Please help me out. Look at this shit. It's actually showing him breaking his back and somebody stealing his wood. Help Stick finish their hut, use the telekinesis creator power to deliver the missing res resources. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Okay, telekinesis. So what resources do you need, my friend? So that's the hut? Is that the hut? Are you finishing that hut? Is this the hut? So this is the hut. What do you need? Let's see. 
They need five stone. So how does the telekinesis system work? So I press. Defy gravity and prove once and for all you're the most powerful building in the galaxy. Okay, so I'm guessing it's control, right? Yo, does this remind you of something? Bro. <laughs> I'm creating a tornado, stop! There you go. Did you? Did yeah, it worked, but did you actually see? Yeah. Wait a second, wait a second, I need to do that shit again. So. Okay, so look at this. I killed... Fuck. God damn it, I ran out of points. Fuck, how do I get those points? Can I... Ah, oh, shit, this is bad. Ah, oh, shit, this is bad. Reservoir store, uh, excess water. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, fuck. That means they're dying because I didn't fucking research the water found the fucking well yet. I need the telekinesis. Let's see it again. Come on. I think this should be enough. Let's hope. Yes. I need to prioritize this, please everybody. Oh, we're fucked. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, it's actually fucking frozen. I would... It's not about the goddamn I was not expecting that, it's just... just I'm fucked. Oh my god, they're up here. What the fuck? Okay, we don't have water on that one. We're fucked because I didn't actually research the well yet. Or it's not done at least. Where's the well? Where's the well? Where's the well? Yeah, it's right here. Well shot former. Look at this shit. I'm not done with them yet. God damn it. This one unlocks the reservoir, which I already done, but I don't think it unlocked my reservoir yet, right? So where the fuck should the reservoir be actually? Uh, I'm guessing utilities, right? Right here. They drank from something that I don't want to know. Okay. Dear creator, my friend Adiri never had a particularly pleasant face, but it, it's somewhat, somehow looking worse lately. I haven't seen this shade of green before in my life. I tried to find a witch doctor, but they're all out. They're all... Uh, out some sort of medicine conference. Some apparently discovered a better met method for removing a splinter than amputation. So they're all riled up. I cannot stand the idea of losing my dear friend. I only have one. They are getting worse by the day. Is there anything can do to help? Ah, oh, yeah, heal them, sure. Oh, where is it? Oh, look, it's right here, right? This one. Oh, shit, yes, yeah, she's fucking green. Okay, this should be it. Can you stop? If they also didn't happen to be the species that initially thought their shadows were trying to eat them. Yes, the narrator is very annoying at this point, I'm not gonna lie. What's this star? Holy shit, look at this. What's this? The Book of Love. Oh, we get a little thing, it's like this. Sure. 
We're fucked. It's winter. I don't have a power to... Um, I know, can also kick them in the ass. Mm. So, because some of them need a little nudge to actually work, it seems. The problem is, I think I'm gonna die. Another one got an infection because they fucking drank. Uh, okay, we're fucked. Keep an eye out for icons above the buildings. This will indicate the statues of the building. Asha. That are no more resources to mine. Tip. Many water shortages can be solved by using the trickle effect. Huh. Trickle effect. But I don't have a trickle effect yet. Bitch, I don't have a trickle effect. I don't have a goddamn trinkle effect. It should be something like uh, rain, pretty much. Okay, so the planet is terrestrial. The atmosphere is 100%. We have 141k of water, 16k of trees. And we have zero pollution at the moment. Okay, since we have the most wood right now. And they're fucking again. Please, stop fucking. We barely have enough to fucking eat ourselves. We already have, like, fucking a lot of them. Kirito just been born. They have no idea what they're getting themselves into. Yeah, they literally have no idea. You're seeing this shit, right? So how does the planet look from all the way up, 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 up in the sky? Huh? Damn, huh? Oh, look at this. Shoo! It's awesome. Yeah, I understand. And the, the, the fuck do you want me to do? They have no fucking water. What, what, what the fuck do you want me to do? Oh my fucking god. They're joking. Bruh. Bruh. We can actually see the inside of them. Are you fucking with me, right? Or is that the, just the main one? Was to required water. Yeah, I know it requires water, but we don't have fucking water in the middle of fucking winter, right? Do we? Do we not? We not? We not? Of course we do not. So wait for fucking summer. Please don't die, and that's it. Jesus Christ, I'm fucked. Okay, so we have no crime at the moment. We have some happiness. We have some evolutions. We have some eatery. Happiness is very high. So. We have twin possibility, research speed, creator points generation, and god actions. Okay, finally fucking summer. Please go drink some water. For the love of god. I think they're trying to tell me to, you know. Storage areas will be very good. Barriers as well, because they're definitely gonna die soon, right? Nugget carrying capacity plus two. Okay, so that should be. Don't worry, I expected this much. I know you have questions, but you learn everything in time on your own without bothering me. Bro, you're literally the one fucking bothering me at the moment. I'm literally trying to play the game and you're all just always in the background by doing some retarded fucking 
the shit, okay? So fuck off. And how the fuck do they fucking repair this? How the fuck do I repair this? We have already them repairing shit. Are you fucking finally? Finally, she's fucking working, bro. Oh, look at this. Uh, look at the watering shit. Look at this. Fuck off. Yeah, look. How about this one, though? I'm still working on my... What the fuck, bro? Oh, this is a temple. Look, it's a temple. Wait a second, can we sacrifice people? It seems we definitely can. Let me see. Oh, look, he, he has a hoodie. Oh, look, he has a hoodie. I don't know what the fuck is she doing, but I don't appreciate religion in my group. So, how do I destroy it? Yeah, but I, I can work with fear. I don't need... I, I can work with fear. It's all good for me. Give me fear, I, I'm i good. What the fuck are you guys doing here? You're actually eating. You're actually getting served some food. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, we have already 36 minutes. That's amazing. Why the fuck not? Uh, sure, let's see what else we can build. Did we unlock something? What's this? So we got a reservoir, we got a water pumpkin. Should we do the fishing pier? Yeah, why not? It's good. Uh, right there, please. It'll be a while before Nuggets develop their sea legs. Fortunately, the seasick Nugget will attract more fish. We're gonna prioritize this, and I'm gonna help them with the wood, because I'm not in the mood for them to stay 25 hours in this. So, we're gonna go with telekinesis, and we're just gonna grab some couple of trees right here. Look at this, let's see how big of a tornado can we do. Oh my god. Let me just try the actual trees, what do you think? And we're done. Look, I splashed it because there was so much shit. They actually jumped in the water and they actually splashed. Look, this is the water bark. So do we, can we actually see the fishes or... I'm being weird, I mind. Okay, let's see them. Come on, I want to see. So just building a cemetery. Yeah, I know how nuggets die, my friend. Uh, you. We research the shit out of them. Ancient burial. Then we have that. That's working right now. Let's go with the town hall. And let's go with the calendar, actually. Let's go with cooking oils. The food. Let's go Ministry of Agriculture as well. So how do they fish? They are not... Oh, look, fishes. Finally. Did you manage to see them? Look, look, look. Right there. Yeah. Bam, 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 right here. So where is the dude going to fish? So when is he going to fish? Going to fish, fishing hunt. Okay. So he's finally gonna go in a fishing hunt, right? Oh, oh, he's right there. Let's see the first fishing. Oh, it's actually growing. Okay, come on, show me the hut. Show me the fishing style. Come on, are you gonna actually do something or what's up?
Oh, look, he's actually got a fish, right? Oh, yeah, he got a fish. Look, look, he's right in the boat. Do you see it right here? So that's a fishing pole, yeah. So because it's still in beta, they didn't animate the living shit out of it. You know what? I'm okay with that, sincerely. What do you think? I like the idea that they're actually building shit without, without telling me. And at the same time, they should stop doing that. Oh, we unlocked a warehouse. The problem with harvesting so many resources is they land, end up piling up. So let's go eat this one, I think, right here for the moment. So about here, I think that's the best idea. So let's prioritize this for the moment. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching the first episode. Uh, if this one gets, I don't know, let's say five likes, we can do the second one. If not, hope you enjoyed it. Do you ever take a moment to watch the seasons change? How about you shut the fuck up and you let me enjoy the game however the fuck I want to enjoy my game, okay? And I will search a way to de deactivate the narrator. He's, he's kind of pissing me off. He should go and suck a dick or something. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next episode of Shamanism Research Completed. So that means, in theory, now we're able to do a hospital. A hospital, I say. I'm building the hospital and then I'm closing it. We need to build the hospital. Do you want me to forget the hospital? Let's build the hospital right here. What? What? Did he just broke his goddamn legs? Bro, are you a fucking moron? God damn it. <sighs> yeah, sometimes I don't understand how people survived in the antiquity. Huh? So we're building a warehouse and then a hospital. Yeah, I, we can definitely do some hospital helping. Uh, telekinesis and then it's just... Perfect. Okay, we managed to we managed to help them. Yeah, never mind. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Give a likey likey and always as always uh I guess see you next time. Peace.